Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book How Children Learn. Does your child love to learn? Many children are not motivated to learn. They forget everything they learn in school, and they keep making mistakes. This is a problem that concerns many parents. How can we change this situation and help our children learn? The didactic approach once ruled the educational world. This concept emphasizes on teaching rather than learning, and often confuses the two concepts. Educators tend to place too much emphasis on their teaching methods. They believe that they can teach students but neglect the fact that it is more interesting and meaningful for the students to learn by themselves. The Irish poet William Butler Yeats once said, Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. Children are independent individuals, and if we want them to love learning, we must first respect and trust them. In fact, children have a unique way of learning that fits their condition. It blends in with each of our children's games and experiments and with their learning processes. This includes learning how to speak and read, the mastery of sports, art, math, and the acquisition of any other knowledge. While this way of learning may be a little strange for adults, it is actually the most effective for children. This bookie will take you to explore more about it. John Holt, the author of this book was a famous American educator, author, and proponent of homeschooling. His book Why Children Fail also available on Bookie, talks about why schools always set students up for failure. In the book How Children Learn, he writes about his observations on children's behavior and analyzes the difficulties and characteristics of children's learning by understanding their conditions. He suggests that children are innately gifted learners, so they don't need too much interference from educators. We only need to trust children and give them time while providing the necessary help and guidance. Let's unpack the book for you in three parts. Part 1 what kind of challenges do children face in learning? Part 2. How do children learn? Part 3. How to help children learn. We may be familiar with the situation where we teach our children to do something simple, but they just don't get it. We are frustrated, and we feel that it is too much effort to communicate with our children. Holt shares a story in his book. 18-month-old Lisa pointed at some cattle and said, see cows, see cows. A few days later, passing by a field with some horses in it, she said again, see cows. Later, she said the same thing when seeing some sheep. This was puzzling. Did Lisa think all animals are called cows? Obviously not. She would not call the family's cats and dogs cows. Then what causes Liza to repeat the same mistake? It turns out that adults tend to divide the world into strict little categories and label each one of them, while children at first see the world as a mysterious and incomprehensible whole. Before they can label things correctly, they need to be able to take that thing out as a subgroup. For Lisa, before she learned to properly call a cow cow, she had to isolate this animal as a group out of all the things she saw, heard, and felt. At first, she may have identified what adults would call large animals in the fields as a group and gave it the name cows. Gradually, after hearing people talk and describing cows, horses, and sheep, she divided these animals into subgroups and labeled each one of them properly. This is the first challenge children have to face when trying to learn. They perceive that the world is a single unit, and it is difficult for them to divide it into subgroups. The second learning challenge children face is that they are not good at understanding others or expressing themselves. For children, language, letters, or body language are complex and unfamiliar things. When they observe the world, they hear strange sounds and see a jumble of weird symbols, all of which are things they cannot comprehend. Meanwhile, when they try to express themselves, they cannot deliver what exactly they want to through the seemingly strange and weird sounds and symbols. What does that feel like? It's like being in a country where people are speaking different languages. We can't figure out what people are saying and doing.